NASA has confirmed a mission to Jupiter's moon, Europa, for as early as 2023. Now, the Europa Clipper spacecraft will explore the ocean world to hopefully give scientists clues about extraterrestrial life. For more, I'm joined by National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fazekas. Andrew, great to see you. Great to be here. Okay, this is really exciting. How excited are you to see this mission go forward? Definitely. This is something, you know, it, it's really very much sci-fi. Sci Anyone who remembers, of course, the uh, movie 2001 Space Odyssey 50 some odd years ago knows the, the, um, the mystique surrounding the, the, the moon Europa and the Jupiter system. Uh, but really beyond science fiction, here we're talking science fact of going and exploring and looking for life beyond Earth. And what may surprise a lot of people is that Europa, this moon of Jupiter, actually holds more promise in, in, in us finding current existing life beyond Earth than even Mars does. So this is a really exciting mission, the Europa Clipper mission, of being able to orbit the moon, uh, which is ice encrusted, which we think there's this mysterious subsurface ocean, a salty ocean, that mm. global ocean that exists underneath this veneer of ice. And uh, it's just locked away there. But we think that there may be uh, life there. It definitely looks like it's suitable for life. And this mission is really going to be the first step in our exploring the, the, uh, the habitability of the moon Europa. Absolutely fascinating. Okay, space fans also got a rare look at an exoplanet courtesy of NASA's Spitzer telescope. What can you tell us about that world? You know, we've been talking about looking for uh, uh, planets around other stars. That's what exoplanets are, star, uh, planets orbiting stars beyond our solar empire. And we've racked up about 4,000, but this is the very first time we're actually be able to zero in on the light that's coming from a rocky sized planet, a planet that's similar in size to Earth. Now this is 48 light years away, and it's very close to its parent star. In fact, it hugs its star so closely, this planet does, that the temperatures on the day side reach up to 770 degrees. Now, Ooh. that means there's probably no life there. It's probably mm -hmm. more like Mercury or the moon, but it's the first time we're able to actually see the, the infrared light from the planet itself. And this bodes really well for us finding the holy grail of exoplanet hunting, which is an Earth 2.0, a sister Earth, a planet that's rocky, similar in size to our planet, that may be habitable. So it's oh. a big step forward. Okay, we're getting closer, Andrew. We do have to leave it there. Andrew Fazekas, thank you as always.